Today, we are going to talk about elapsed time, specifically using a number line to solve. Let's get started! When solving for elapsed time, we first have to know what it is. Elapsed time is the time in between the start of an event and the end of an event. For instance, if you really don't like math class, you might already be solving for elapsed time. You might be thinking, how much more time until math is over? Or, how much more time until this video ends? Whenever you are asking questions such as how much more time, you are dealing with elapsed time. Since I know for a fact you all love math, let's talk about a couple more important vocabulary words, or as I like to call them, SEAL. You might remember the acronym SEAL from solving word problems. S, show your work. E, write an equation. A, answer. L, label. Well, there is another type of SEAL, and it is an acronym used for elapsed time. This SEAL is spelled with two E's and stands for start time, end time, and elapsed time. To solve problems involving elapsed time, we must have all of this information. Let's try a few elapsed time problems together. Sid the Seal was going to the Pacific Market for groceries. He arrived at 7.50 a.m. and left at 10.16 a.m. How long was Sid at the market? According to the acronym SEAL, we need to identify the start time, end time, and elapsed time. In this problem, Sid starts shopping at 7.50 and leaves at 10.16. Now that we have that written, we can easily see that we are missing the elapsed time, or total time that Sid was there. Next, we will draw a number line to find the elapsed time. First, we will label the start and end time. Now that we have done that, we will need to find the time in between. To guide our thinking, we will use this chart. We will use pebbles to represent one minute, rocks to represent five minutes, hills to represent 10 minutes, and mountains to represent one hour. Using this chart, we can do time hops until we reach 1016. Let's try it. First, we will try an hour hop. Let's draw a mountain. 750 plus 1 hour equals 850. Since we haven't reached 1016, we're going to do another hour hop to 950. Labeling the time as we go. If we hop one more hour, that's 1050 and too far. So we'll hop 10 minutes drawing a hill to get to 10 o'clock. Now we can hop 10 minutes to 1010. Finally, we'll hop five minutes to 1015 and one pebble hop to 1016. Now that I labeled each hop, I can add the mountains, hills, rocks, and pebbles together to get the time in between. The elapsed time is two hours and 26 minutes. If remembering mountains, hills, rocks, and pebbles is hard for you, not to worry. Just be sure to label each jump on top and the new time below. Let's try one more. Oscar the crab started walking to Sid the seal's house at 4.15 p.m. He arrived at 7.58 p.m. How long did it take Oscar to get to Sid's house? According to seal, I need to find the start time, end time, and elapsed time. First, we will write it to determine what's missing. Oscar starts his walk at 4.15 p.m. and ends his walk at 7.58 p.m. I have the start time and end time. That means, once again, I am missing the elapsed time. Now that we know what we are looking for, we can label and solve using a number line. We will start by labeling the start time and end time. Next, we will use our mountains, hills, rocks, and pebbles to solve for the time in between. First, we will use a mountain to hop one hour to 515. 
Notice the hour changed, not the minutes. Next, we will hop one hour to 6.15 and another hour hop to 7.15. That was three hours. If we do another hour hop, we get 8.15 and that's too far. Instead, I will use a hill to hop 10 minutes to 7.25, adding 10 more minutes to 7.35 and another 10 to 7.45 and another 10 to 7.55. Finally, we will use pebbles to hop. 7.56, 7.57, 7.58. To find the total elapsed time, I will add the mountains, hills, and pebbles. Oscar took three hours and 43 minutes. Thanks for watching and happy solving.